Welcome back to another episode of the Sporting Life Show brought to you by Shy and Kennels. And your Orvis endorsed wing shooting guide, Darrell Smith here. And thanks to our sponsors, Beretta USA for the finest in sporting goods, Benchmade Knife Company for keeping us sharp, and Yukonuba Sporting Dog for keeping us fueled up, and Huntfield Magazine for, of course, keeping us informed afield. And we also owe a great deal of thanks to Dogs Unlimited for this season's spring training materials, goods, and gear. All right, folks, so I just want to walk you through some of the things that I'm getting Ikaro started on this spring. It's real early. He's had his first season to hunt and do his own thing. Um, So right here, we are just working on him steadying up. Let me walk in front of the bird, uh, being patient and learning not to move in front. I noticed he had quite a bit of impatience. And this here is what I like to see on point from him, from an English pointer. Good boy. So I didn't really like how he took that step, but I have that uh, stake right there and that pinch collar to correct him immediately. Um, It's been a staple in my training arsenal over the years. It was made for me by my dear friend, uh, Joe Floaty. But it's a leather pinch collar uh, that has really, really done wonders for all of my dogs. You can see if he moves forward, um, he'll get a correction around the neck, but I lightly, lightly, lightly uh, brush his side, flush the bird, fire the gun. Good dog. Yep, 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 yep. So here we're letting them do a little more work. Similar area, um, not too far from we flushed the first bird. I want some repeat contacts. Looks good on point. He's settling in like I like him too. And this here is a Lion Country Supply ground hook uh, for $22.95. Not too much. Love it. Another staple for my training uh, gear kit and supplies. And this front-facing point, uh, this shot from the front, it's just, I love it. Love to see uh, the head on an English point like that. Good dog. Coming in, Good approaching. Boy. There's a lot of slack on that lead, which is a fantastic sign. Um, boy. Just look at him. I'm, I'm, I love the artistry and the, the statue and the, the, the sculpted nature of that point. Of course, I'm using a Dogs Unlimited original tip-up bird releaser to uh, okay. go ahead and get me in the right spot, but but definitely allow me to walk in front of a dog like that, flush the bird, and shoot. Over here. Yep, yep. This one, I wanted him to make a few more decisions yep, and really yep, yep. understand Come over here, Kyle. what a bird over that's here. left over the here. area but sent still in there. Nope. Um, learn to differentiate that. And here we go again on another point. Good point. I want that tail to get a little tighter as I approach. He's excited. Too much of this is is not greatest, so I'm not gonna put him on too many pin birds just because I want him to maintain steadiness just like that. Stay tight in the tail. Uh, and, and, And a lot of the time, pressure from wild birds doesn't allow for that, but that there is a proper uh, point from an English pointer that I like to see from him. This is the baseline of what I'm looking to work with and, and how I study these dogs through my artwork. Um, it's 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 so interesting to me to work on these dogs, sketching their anatomy, studying them for what I want to look for Whoop. in this particular point. Of course, wasn't patient there, but that's fine. 
So all in all, I enjoyed that training session. Here's a piece I did for American Soil, American Soul last year called Muleta. And much of my work in bird dogs allows me, again, to look at them, study the shape, confirmation, and the sculpture that I, that I think their bodies are. Um, and more works like this. This was a simple line drawing um, that I really enjoyed. And I'll be doing more of those this year um, over the coming months as I further develop uh, him as an English pointer coming into his second season.